so now first thing is we will get ourselves introduced to multiple terms first term is the face value now most of the questions that you would see for valuation of debt the face value you would see would be thousand dollars now this face value will have two usage we'll come to that part later on second term you would come across is the coupon rate let me assume a coupon rate of 10% third term would be maturity let us say maturity here is 5 years and the fourth term would be yield to maturity i would simply be calling this as ytm and ytm here let me just keep this as 10% for the time being now first concept coupon rate is the amount of cash flow that would be paid to you every year and coupon rate is always calculated as a percentage to face value so when we have this bond what are the cash flows we are looking at this is a timeline this is time zero at time zero we will have to purchase the bond at market value how much is the market value we don't know that right now we are going to learn to calculate that then the maturity of the bond is 5 years so year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year 5 by the end of year 1 you would receive your first coupon first coupon means you would receive your first interest and how would that be calculated it would be calculated as face value into the coupon rate so 1000 into 10% it would be how much 100 so you will receive 100 here in the same fashion 100 here 100 here 100 and 100 so 5 years you will receive 5 coupon at the end of year 5 you will also receive face value back and whatever amount face value whatever was the face value that would be returned to you so this face value has two usage one coupon is always calculated as a percentage to face value and second at the end of maturity face value is returned to the investor so 1000 1000 1000 1, 1100 these are the five cash flows that we have now write down a sentence market value of a bond part market value of a bond at any point of time market value of a bond at any point of time is present value is present value of all future cash flows of all future cash flows discounted at discounted at current ytm current ytm double underline the word current after current ytm say or and leave three empty lines right below that there are multiple ways of valuing a bond so this sentence we will complete three months from now when we would be on fixed income till that time we would just look at the first part of the sentence so i'm repeating it again market value of a bond at any point of time is present value of all future cash flow discounted at current ytm this current ytm i want you to think of simply as the market interest rate the rate of interest that exists in the market and this ytm can change every day and because this ytm will change every day or maybe every minute therefore your value of bond can also change every day or every minute are you following this so coupon rate is fixed it does not change but the ytm keeps on changing so going forward if someone is talking about interest rate that person is not talking about coupon rate that person must be talking about ytm ytm is interested in the market so let's value the bond now do this with me second clear tvm second clear tvm 1000 future value 1000 future value how much cash flow are we receiving in year 
we are receiving 1100 but your future value we are not going to keep as 1100 we are going to keep it as 1000 I'll tell you why 100 as payment 100 as payment n is 5 now understand what we have told your calculator we've told your calculator that 100 is being repeated 5 times plus at the end of year 5 there's an additional 1000 so a lot of online candidates write me a mail asking why future value is not 1100 the answer is that because you've already kept payment as 100 and ns5 that 100 is being considered in payment and therefore your future value is only going to be 1000 now what should be the iy iy here would be the ytm which in this case is 10 percent so say 10 is iy and compute present value so when your ytm is 10 the market value of the bond would be how much 1000 this is called as a bond issued at par value or face value which means market rate 10 percent you went to the investor you said i will also pay you 10 percent therefore investor will buy the bond from you at a price of 1000 itself but what if now don't do second clear tvm what if ytm was 12 now don't do anything just think for a minute market interest rate is 12 percent but this bond is giving us a coupon of 10 percent is it giving us more or less we are getting less lesser than the market rate so which means the bond is not as good as it, it should be because it is giving us less than the market rate so therefore the price of the bond will come out to be less than thousand and these kind of bonds we are going to call them as discount bonds so let's do it now just say 12 is iy i'll give you time to write but understand first make 12 is iy have you done that and then say compute present value 927 so what investor will say is market interest rate 12 percent but because i am being paid only 10 you're giving me a coupon less than market rate i am not going to buy the bond at thousand i'm going to buy the bond at a lesser price 927 are we okay with this but what if the ytm was seven then this bond is giving us more so the bond will turn out to be premium make your iy as 7 now 7 as iy and compute future value it would be 11 one, sorry compute present value 1123 ok so there are two things we've learned first market value for bond at any point of time is simply present value of future cash flow discounted at discounted at current YTM and then we will always compare coupon rate with current YTM and the best way to think of this is coupon rate is what you get what I am going to receive is the coupon rate and the market rate is YTM so if what I am getting is more than the market rate it's a premium bond but if what I get is less then it is going to be a discount bond so if coupon rate is higher than the YTM then it would be a premium bond but if coupon rate is less than the YTM, then it would always be a discount bond. Okay, so now you can write this down quickly. Done writing? Okay, let's let's practice this concept a little bit. Face value one thousand. Coupon rate. 17% maturity 6 years YTM 12% calculate market value of the bond now what do you think is it a premium bond or discount bond premium is it a premium bond yes because coupon is higher than the YTM we are earning more since we are earning more, it's a premium bond. So find out what should be the valuation. It's a premium bond. One, two, zero, five. 
so how will you do it this is your timeline this is time 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 every year we will receive the coupon amount coupon would be calculated as face value into the coupon rate so this would be 170 170 170 170 170 and 170 then at the end of year 6 we will also receive the face value back which means this would be 1000 so on the financial calculator the keys that you would want to enter second clear TVM 1000 would be future value 170 would be payment 6 would be N 12 would be IY and then we will say compute present value and that will get you answer as 1205 are you getting the answer how many of you got 1205 okay. do you want me to repeat the keys again should we practice one more ok let's, let's do it one more time now face value 1000 coupon rate 0 percent maturity 8 years YTM 15 percent do you think this is possible a bond which does not pay any coupon at all is it possible yes it is possible we will call this bond as a zero coupon bond okay so how would we calculate the present value first we will build a timeline this is time 0 this is time 8 the only cash flow we are receiving in the entire series is 1000 by the end of year 8 so now we would say second clear TVM 1000 as future value 15 as IY 8 as N we will not enter anything in payment because it's 0 then say compute present value how much 320.9 how many of you got this the interpretation is that I will invest 326.9 today and after 8 years I would go and take how much 1000 so it does not mean zero coupon does not mean I am not earning zero coupon means I am earning but it is not paid to me every year it is compounding with the company itself so that my 326 will directly become 1000 by the end of year 8 is it fine should I increase the level a bit next question now face value 1000 coupon rate 10 percent per annum semi-annual 10 percent per annum semi-annual maturity 4 years YTM 12 percent per annum calculate market price of the bond observe the cash flows carefully observe the cash flows carefully a semi annual bond means coupon would be paid to you twice in a year so this is time 0 this is time 4 this is 0 0.5 this is 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 and 4 every year the coupon is 1000 into 10 percent which is 100 but for half of the year you would not be paid 100 you would be paid 50 so your cash flow here is 50 every year so 50 
50 50 50 and how many such cash flows 8 and then by the end of fourth year how much would you get back 1000 and discount rate is 12% per annum so for half of the year discount rate would be how much 6% so second clear TVM second clear TVM 1000 future value 50 as payment 8 as N 8 as N 6 as IY compute present value 9 37 was the answer